Storytime Saturdays. I'm children's author Phoebe Fox, and today I'm going to read to you Fast Freddy, The Legend in a Shell. Permission for the reading of this book was given by the author and illustrator, Michael Hale. In the high Sonoran desert where the tall saguaros grow, there lived a little hatchling who was always on the go. Federico was his name, but in the stories that they tell, he's always called Fast Freddy, the legend in a shell. A tortoise lives a quiet life, the same from day to day, but Freddy wanted none of that, so he stood up and ran away. With much to see and much to do, he wanted to explore, to experience his desert home like no one else before. They say that he could run so fast he hardly touched the ground, creating swirling dust devils each time he turned around. Roadrunners were too slow for him, jackrabbits just like snails. He left them all to eat his dust as he passed them on the trails. Bighorn sheep have climbed to heights that no one else would dare. But when they reached the summit, they found Freddy waiting there. His flag says, Montaña de la Tortuga. Tortoise Mountain. He made many friends along the way, some easy to embrace, while others, although very nice, required extra space. Have you ever seen a tarantula before? Or a scorpion? Always polite, he said no thanks and tried not to be rude to dinner invitations where he might end up as food. <laughs> On overheated summer days, he'd hide out from the sun and wait to join the nightlife when the day was done. Under clear and starry skies, he kept in perfect tune along with the coyotes who were howling at the moon. He had late night chats with friendly bats, stare contests with owls, and scared the Gila monsters with some pretty frightening scowls. Can you make a face like that? When the summer heat had lessened and the cacti fruit was ripe, he'd eat his fill and dance a jig beneath an organ pipe. He jogged with javelinas and would gamble with the quail. And when it came to rattlesnakes, he really shook his tail. Do you know what he's using to make music? Maracas. During monsoon season, when water's flowing there, he'd surf through the arroyos on a piece of prickly pear. Don't try this at home. When he'd finally seen and done it all with nowhere else to roam, Freddy left the Grand Sonora, his lovely desert home. Before he went, to all his friends he bid a fond farewell. And to this day, they remember him, the legend in a shell. The last we'd seen, he'd headed west toward the setting sun. If anyone could catch it, it was Freddy on the run. He took a brush and pails of paint, red, orange, yellow, gold, and every night the heavens glow in colors to behold. The tall saguaro cacti's arms reach higher than the rest. Some say they wave to Freddy as the sun sets in the west. If you get your own copy of this book, don't miss the back pages. They have all of the definitions and information about the animals and vegetation mentioned in the book. I hope you enjoyed Fast Freddy the Legend in a Shell. If you like this one, you might also want to check out Bad Monkey Business. This was written and illustrated by Michael Hale, too, and it's a Mama Fox Book Storytime Saturday. Please subscribe to Mama Fox Book Storytime Saturdays, and I'll see you next time. Adios!